look ahead to next week's College Go Week. And more highlights from Twin Day and Jersey Day. All today on On, on the, the Air. Air. I'm your host, Zobo the Fourth Day. And I'm your co-host, Joey Kinley. Seniors, next week is your chance to find out more about Indiana colleges and even to apply to some without having to pay an application fee. It's College Go Week. I'm making a double appearance. We were able to catch up with Ms. Porter about College Go Week and how seniors need to take this opportunity into account. Hi, I'm Mrs. Porter. I'm here to talk to you this morning about College Go Week that's taking place next week throughout the state of Indiana, September 26th through the 30th several activities going on next week. One is for any seniors who apply to college during this week, uh, we will be having drawings for college t-shirts and backpacks and things like that. Um, also, we are, ha we are taking two college visits. On Friday, we're going to Ball State, and on Thursday, we're going to IU East. If you would like to sign up for either one of those, we still have a few openings left for the Ball State trip. I would need to know today if you're interested in going, and if you're interested in going to IU East on Thursday, they are here in the cafeteria uh, for sign up. Also on Thursday, Purdue Polytech is having a tailgate party from 4.30 to 6.30 on their campus. So these are all great opportunities uh, for seniors to um, visit and see colleges. Uh, daily, we will be having announcements uh, regarding college information for all grade levels. And then last but not least, we'd like to encourage teachers to decorate their doors in the theme of their alma mater. And we will be giving a prize for the best decorated door uh, with a $10 gift card. Thank you. So make sure you come out to College Go Week and seize your opportunity, seniors. Back to myself and Joey in the studio. Remember tonight is a homecoming parade. It kicks off at 6.30, starting the municipal pool, runs up West Main Street onto Southwest First Street and up to the high school. And as part of Homecoming Spirit Week continues, as today is Jersey Day and yesterday was Twin Day. Remember, tomorrow is Throwback Thursday Day, and Friday is Red Devil Day. Wear your red and white to cheer on the team. Now, let's take a look at some more announcements. Another club has their first meeting of the year, and that's where we start. The Creative Writing Club will hold its first meeting next Wednesday, September 28th at 3.30 in Mrs. Winter's room, L109. Anyone is welcome to attend. We will discuss exciting opportunities available to members this year. Next week, as a part of College Go Week, Purdue Polytechnic on the IU East campus is having a tailgate party for you to find out more about their programs next Thursday from 4.30 to 6.30 on the Tom Reaper Plaza at IU East. You can learn more about their programs, enjoy free food, and win some Purdue prizes. You can also win tickets to Kings Island Halloween Hunt and apply to Purdue Polytechnic, and they'll have the application fee. For more information, see your counselor. Early college students, campus visits start early October. Make sure you get permission forms and by the dates listed. Freshman forms are due next Friday, September 30th. Sophomores and juniors and seniors are all due on October 7th. If you signed up or are interested in taking a trip to France, there will be a fundraising meeting at Roscoe's Coffee Shop this Saturday, September 24th. The meeting starts at 11 a.m. The trip is open to anyone who has passed or is taking French 2A. Come get ready 
to get started to go to France. Also, there's a meeting of the French club today. They will meet after school in room R102, come prepared to speak French. Seniors, the IUPUI trip is this Friday and there are still a few openings, but you need to see your counselor right away. Also, there's time to sign up for the Ball State trip. Interesting seniors must be on track for a Core 40 diploma. Each trip is limited to only 50 students, and students can only go on one of the trips. See your counselor to sign up. Don't forget the GSA meets every Thursday after school in room L113. Stop by if you'd like to get involved. Tickets for the homecoming dance are on sale now. The theme is Neon Nights. And besides buying just a ticket, you can also purchase a homecoming shirt. Tickets are $6 per person and shirts are 7 The shirts come in your choice of pink, yellow, green, or blue. If you're looking for some RHS gear for homecoming, make sure to stop by the Red Hot Bookstore during lunch. They'll be running a special all this week on t-shirts for $10 and sweatshirts for $20. RHS BPA will meet today during all three lunch periods. Please come to room C213 during your scheduled lunch period. Lunch will be provided. Important information regarding membership and regional competitions will be discussed. The next HOSA full team meeting is Wednesday, September 28th from 3.30 to 4.15 p.m. in Ms. Hitchers' room, R160. This is the last chance to join HOSA. Officers will be announced and membership forms distributed. That's all the announcements, now back to the studio. Believe it or not, fall actually starts tomorrow, but it won't feel like it. That's right, fall officially starts tomorrow with the autumnal equinox, but temperatures will definitely feel more like summer. Highs over the next few days in the upper 80s all the way well into next week. Overnight lows won't be as bad as clear skies allow things to cool off into the lower 60s each night. It looks like a hot game on Friday night and not much relief in sight until early next week. Make sure you to join me again on Friday to get the latest on when we'll finally cool off. I'm your weatherman Dustin, now that, back to you guys in the studio. Now let's get to the latest results in the Red Devil Sports Report. Just a few scores to give you today, including another win for the boys tennis team. The Red Devils were in action on Monday night against rival Centerville and improved their record to 12-2. Overall, with a 4-1 win, both Eric and Ryan Hollingsworth won at singles to improve their records to 19-0. RHS is in action this weekend at the Delta Invitational before beginning sectional play next week. RHS soccer hosted two games last night, both against NCC rival Anderson and both with different outcomes. Girls hope to keep their hopes alive of the NCC championship and took an important step with a 5-0 win over the Indians. The win secured at least a number two seed in the NCC East in this weekend's conference tournament. RHS plays at home tomorrow against Tri-County North and then faces McCutcheon on Saturday in their first tournament game. The boys struggled to get their offense going and the Indians slipped by for a 2-0 win. RHS makes up a match with Greenfield Central on Thursday before facing either Lafayette Jeff or Kokomo in the conference tournament on Saturday. Volleyball traveled to Connersville and made quick work by sweeping the Spartans in straight sets. Kiki Bentley had 18 kills for the Red Devils, and Ryan Spicer had 9 aces. Cross Country was also in Connorsville last night for the Spartan Invitational. The boys finished 9th out of 20 teams, and the girls finished 12th. Top individual finishers include Julian Reeves for the boys at 20th, and Madeline Freeman at 41st for the girls. That's your sports. Now back to you guys in the studio. That's the show, and as we close, here's a few more highlights from Spirit Week. Make sure you're with us on Friday for more Spirit Week highlights. Have a great day. Today's Jersey Day, yeah.